Hey guys, Seth Cole of the Ancient Sports Channel, and welcome to a special video concerning a new league online for Enter 2003 that will be starting up within the next three weeks or so. Now, for those of you that don't know, uh, we I've, I've currently been running two series. One is the uh, Icebreakers Online series. Second one has been a little bit of a side series. Uh, it's the Walmart Wreckers series, which has been run over on the High Grip Wreckers uh, Enter 2003 server. And we just finished up our third season this past Tuesday. So uh, I've been thinking, you know, what's going to be the next step of what we're going to do? Are we doing a fourth season of uh, Walmart Records series or are we doing something different? And I was thinking last night of what could be a possibility. And I think I came up with something. So there is going to be a brand new Enter 2003 series that's going to be going on. It is going to still be under the name of Walmart, but it's going to be the NSRA Walmart Super Speedway series. And this is going to be run still over on the now called High Grip Racing server. Uh, Mr. Norm actually decided to change the name in order to maybe not encourage wrecking quite as much. But uh, anyway, What's going to be going on is it's going to be Super Speedway Racing at five tracks that Mr. Norm has in his server. And what's going to happen is more than likely we will visit all five of those tracks uh, every night, one night a week, uh, for I'm thinking six weeks. I think it's going to be a 30 race schedule. There will not be a chase. That's going to be one thing that's going to be new. Um, we've had a chase in the Walmart Record Series for the past two seasons. I think we had one in season one, so I think maybe we had it in all three seasons. And um, in this particular series, Wrecking's not going to really be encouraged. Uh, you know, Mr. Norm has decided to change the name to try and cut down on Wrecking, and we're going to try and do the same here with this series. But it's not going to be, a, I'll put it this way, it's not going to be a super serious series. So I want people to still have fun, but I don't want people to act like complete idiots at the same time. Anyway, uh, what's going to happen here, there are going to be a couple of rules that, uh, if you want to join, um, first off, you have to have Enter 2003. Second thing is you have to be able to have the capability of racing online. Uh, the third thing you have to do is you have to download five certain tracks, which are going to be the only tracks that we will visit during the entire course of the season. They are In-Game Talladega, Talladega Squeeze, In-Game Daytona Day, In-Game Daytona Night, and JGIR, or Joe Gibbs International Raceway. Those are the only five restricted play tracks we will be going to, the only five super speedways we will be going to during the course of the entire season. More than likely, it looks like we're going to be doing it again on Tuesday nights. Now, we ran the Walmart Records series uh, started at 5 p.m., but I know being on a school night, a lot of people aren't able to make it that early, especially over on the West Coast. And so we are going to actually be pushing back the start time each Tuesday night to 7 p.m., Eastern Standard Time. More than likely, the day that we will be starting will be on June 2nd. The reason that we're giving a little bit of time is, one, we just finished up the Walmart Records series, so we need a little bit of an off-season to get everything in line, and also, you know, for people to be able to sign up for rides, etc. And secondly, because, um, you know, there are a lot of different leagues that run on certain nights. Uh, on Monday nights, um, the High Grip Records server has their league race. On Tuesdays, for the next two weeks, uh, the IRL Indy Lights are running their um, last two races of the season, so we'll be starting uh, the Super Speedway Series the following week after their finale. Wednesdays is when I run the online series for Icebreakers Online Series. Uh, Thursdays are going to be starting up on uh, Dylan Young's online series, which is another Super Speedway series. And then Fridays I'm working, so Tuesday's the only day that I really have available to be able to do anything but I don't want to do it during the same time slot uh, that uh, Zach Buchanan is currently doing his IRL Indie Lights. So, and from what I heard, I think he said he's going to be taking a bit of an off-season, so we'll try and fill that off-season uh, with the Walmart Super Speedway Series. So June 2nd is what I'm looking at as a possible start day, and of course that would be at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, I said you needed on, uh, online capabilities, and you needed NR2003. The only other thing that you need to have is the original cut mod. That's the mod that gets run, and of course you need those five tracks. This season we are not going to be requiring that you get into TeamSpeak 3. Doing that for two reasons. Number one, because some people don't have TeamSpeak 3 and it takes them a lot of time and it's really hard for them to be able to download it. And secondly, because I've noticed that uh, some people that would like to online race 
because they have to get into TeamSpeak 3 for some of the requirements for some other series, it makes their computer really slow. They're not able to do that. So all you're going to have to basically do is you're going to have to just get into NR2003, get into the server, and that's all that's going to be to it. Uh, I will be... Um, I do have a Facebook group for this series. It's going to be uh, the same group page for uh, the series that we just finished up, the Walmart Records series. I'll be, of course, redoing it a little bit. If you have Facebook and you would like to join our group to be in on all the stuff that goes on, where I post the point standings and everything week after week, let me know and I'll add you to the group. My uh, username on Facebook is Christopher Pierce, not my actual name. And uh, last but not least, uh, the point system that is going to be used for the Super Speedway Series it is going to be slightly different. The winner of the race will get 15 points. Second place will get 14, 13 will, or thir uh, third will get 13. On down through 14th place, that would get 2, and 15th place would get 1. If anybody finishes outside the top 15, you don't get any points for that race. So it's basically trying to get into the top 15 to at least get some points. The other thing that's going to happen here is, as I said, we're not going to be really encouraging wrecking in this particular series. One, because it's a super speedway, so you really shouldn't be intentionally wrecking anybody. And two, because, uh, you know, we want to throw a little bit of competitiveness in there and not have it come down to the leader that's dominated the race getting taken out in the last few laps. So what's going to happen here is there will actually be point penalties for wrecks that take place. If you end up wrecking yourself, you don't get any points penalty because I know that with high grip wreckers there's sometimes that you know you can lose control of your car, you can lose a tire, you can have trouble getting on a pit road, if you end up flipping over or something, you don't get points penalties for that. But if you intentionally turn another driver, each time that you do that, you will get a three point penalty. So let's say the leader and the winner of the race intentionally turn somebody for the win on that final lap. They'd get 15 points for winning, but be docked 3 points and only get a total of 12 points for that race. And then if there's an unintentional wreck that you cause with somebody, then you would only get a 1 point penalty for that. But keep in mind, let's say that you unintentionally wreck 3 people during the race, that's a total of 3 points you're going to lose for that particular race. And of course, I'll be going back, looking over replays and stuff, seeing oh, what were the intentional, unintentional wrecks, etc., and be doing points accordingly. Uh, last but not least, the final thing that you basically need to know is we'll be running it over on the High Grip Records server. I first off want to just thank Mr. Norm, um, you know, for allowing us to use his server for three seasons. Um, you know, he really doesn't need to do that for us, but uh, I really appreciate him doing that for us and everything. We've had great seasons as a result, and I'm looking forward to this season as well. So, if you are interested in uh, signing up, I'm going to put all the information you need to know down in the description. If you are interested in getting TeamSpeak, I will also put the link to that down in the description as well. You know, there's going to be some of us that will be over in TeamSpeak during the course of these races and everything. We're over there, we're acting like idiots, but it's a lot of fun. So anyway, um, all the information that you need to know is down there. If you're interested in signing up, uh, we'll be uh, basically calling this moment. The signups are open for the original Cup Mod. Uh, you can choose what number it is you'll want to drive. The official start date that I have in mind is going to be June 2nd, 7 p.m. on Tuesday night. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you have never online raced before and you'd like to try your hand, this is a great series to try it out in. And uh, thank you all so much for watching once again. I will see you guys very soon. I will be posting updates about this series as the, uh, as the weeks go on and everything on this channel. So that way those of you that may not have Facebook will at least get to know what's going on and everything. So, once again, thank you all so much for watching, and looking forward to a great season. Any other questions you have, leave them in the comments, or in the uh, comments of this Facebook post as well. See you guys later. I'm out.